In this chapter, we'll show you how to edit designs by rotating, scaling the size, and mirror imaging them. The editing mode is also used for combining designs together in a single hoop layout, as well as for saving design files for later use. We'll show how to save designs to either the machine's memory or a USB memory stick. To demonstrate how to rotate, resize, and mirror image a design, select built-in design number one, the stem of flowers. Press the edit button to open the edit screen. The edit screen shows this design placement in the small hoop. To view this design placement in the large hoop, press the hoop icon. You will see both hoop icons. Press the large hoop icon to see the design placement in the large hoop. Press OK to confirm the change. The editing screen shows the relative size and placement of the selected design using a square image that appears within the hoop area on screen. To view the design image in more detail, press the magnifier icon, then scroll through the image using the arrow buttons. Press the exit button to return to the editing screen. Selected designs will automatically sew centered in the hoop. If you want to move a design within the hoop area, press the arrow buttons that correspond to the direction in which you want to move the design. You will see a square image indicating the parameters of the design moving within the hoop on the LCD screen. To move the design back to center, press the centering button. To rotate the design, press the rotate icon and the rotation screen will open. The pattern will rotate 45 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise each time the plus or minus icon is pressed. Press OK to confirm the change. To see the changed design more clearly, press the magnifier icon. Press Exit to return to the edit screen. Now let's resize a new design from the design screen. Choose design number 20. Press the Edit button. Press the Resize icon and the Resize screen will open. Each time the plus or minus icon is pressed, the size of the pattern is scaled from 90% of original size to 120% of original size in 10% intervals. The stitch count remains the same when the design size is adjusted. Press the OK button after resizing the design as desired. Press the magnifier icon to view your changes. Then press the exit button to return to the editing screen. Now press OK to go to the Ready to Sew screen. You can also flip the selected design horizontally. Choose a new design from the design screen. Select design number 33. Press the Edit button. Now press the magnifier icon to see your design. Then press the Exit button to return to the editing screen. Press the Mirror Image icon and the Mirror Image screen will open. Press the icon for the direction horizontally in which you want the design to be mirrored and press the OK button to confirm the change. If desired, press the magnifier icon to view your changes. Next, press the exit button to return to the editing screen. Press OK to go to the Ready to Sew screen. You can combine more than one design at a time to create personalized design layouts within a single hooping. For this demonstration, let's combine two designs, a wreath and a monogram. From the Design Selection screen, choose design number 5, the wreath. Press the Edit button, press the Lettering button, choose the Script font, then the letter B, and press OK. There are now two boxes on the screen, a box with a solid line 
indicating the parameters of one design, and a box with a dotted line indicating the parameters of the other selected design. The currently selected design is indicated on the LCD screen as a solid square. As long as you see the solid square, the design can be manipulated. Press the positioning buttons to move the square. If desired, press the magnifier icon to view the design more closely. Press Exit to return to the Edit screen. When there is more than one design on screen, use the Page Forward and Page Back buttons to select which design you want to edit. If you want to delete or change a design from the layout on screen, simply select the Pattern to Delete and press the Delete button. If desired, insert a new design, embroider the design, or save it for later use. You can save embroidery designs in the machine's internal memory or on a USB stick. First we'll show you how to save in the machine memory, then how to save on a USB memory stick. When a design is ready to be saved, press the Edit button, then press the File Save button to open the File Save screen. The LCD screen displays an icon for the machine memory and also an icon for the USB memory. To save a design in the internal memory of the machine, select the machine icon on the LCD screen. At this point, you can name the design that you plan to save by pressing the file name icon. If you don't name the design, the machine will automatically assign a name to the file. After pressing the file name icon, an alphabet will appear. Type the file name, which can be up to eight characters. Press OK to confirm. Press OK again to save the named file. Your design is now saved. To recall a design saved in machine memory, see Chapter 7 of this video. To delete a design that has been saved to the machine memory, first press the Machine button, which will display the design saved in the machine's memory. Press the Delete button and a trash can icon will display on the LCD screen. Scroll through the designs, then press the icon for the design you want to delete. A message appears on screen asking if you want to delete the design. Press OK and the design will be deleted. Press the Exit button to return to the previous screen. If you would like to save a design to a USB stick, the USB stick must first be formatted for embroidery. The USB stick must also be dedicated to your embroidery machine. To do this, first turn your machine on. After the machine is fully booted, place an empty USB stick into the USB port of the machine. Select the Set button on the machine panel to access the machine settings. Use the Page Forward buttons to scroll to the formatting screen. Select the USB icon. The LCD will ask you to confirm that you want to format the USB memory stick. Press OK to format the stick. The USB memory stick is now ready for designs to be saved. This may take a moment. When it is finished, the LCD screen will return to the design selection screen. When the design is ready to be saved, place the USB memory stick into the USB port of the machine. Press the Edit button, then press the File Save button. Press the USB icon on the LCD screen. Press the EMBF icon. A design must be saved in this folder in order for it to be transferred to the machine. 
If a design is saved to the stick, but not saved in the EMBF folder, the machine will not recognize the design. To continue, press the naming icon located just above the USB icon. A new screen will open showing an alphabet so that you can name the folder in which the design will be saved. Type the file name, up to eight characters, then press OK to confirm. When the new file folder appears on the LCD screen, press OK to confirm. Your design has been successfully saved. Besides using the 55 built-in embroidery designs and the built-in fonts, you can use designs from purchased collections or download designs from the Internet. Embroidery designs are available in a variety of formats depending on the machine model. Your machine requires the JEF format so be sure to select only this format when downloading and saving designs. Once you have downloaded the design in the JEF format to your computer, you must save it to your formatted USB stick.